Hey, today we're going to be talking about the problem of using HD as an excuse. Now, this is a very sensitive topic. I know it is. And so let's get into it because I have a lot to discuss about this. Let's talk about that right after this intro. How's it going, my optimal mind? How you doing? I'm Dr. Legrand, if you are new here, and I have ADHD and dyslexia and treat people with ADHD and dyslexia and other health concerns that people do have. So what I want to discuss about is why it's a problem of using ADHD as an excuse for everything. And before I actually dive into that, if you do have ADHD, I do have a free downloadable guide that goes over the labs, nutrients, supplements, and foods that you should be implementing, also avoiding if you do have ADHD. You can download that description in, in the description below. As well as if you have, if you are a parent that has kids with ADHD, I have a guide for you as well. So let's talk about this. I'm going to talk about three things. There's a lot that I can cover on this actual topic, but I'm going to talk about the three main things of why using ADHD as an excuse can hurt you more than actually benefits you. And the very first thing is that what I mean by, well, first let's talk about why using ADHD as an excuse can be a problem, what that actually means. Uh, you know, I'm a fault of this, you know, especially when I was younger, I used HD as an excuse, not necessarily ADHD, but just, you know, my difficulties of, you know, learning, uh, having dyslexia, but also just, yeah, having ADHD. I use it as an excuse all the time. In fact, you know, my dad always said, you know, I was excuse-itis, where I would always come up with excuses of why I couldn't do certain things. And I'm still a follow of it today. I've gotten definitely a lot better over the years. And when we use HD as an excuse, this can be very damaging. Uh, it doesn't help us progress. So the very first thing of why HD can be a problem is that it can pretty much stop you from progressing, from stopping you being becoming the person that you want to be. And when we decide to try something new and we find that we can't do it. We can't do the task or we can't go through a program or finish college or it doesn't even have to be college or maybe sticking with a job that we thought we would enjoy that we come with an excuse that, oh, I have ADHD, so therefore I can't finish or therefore this isn't for me uh, because it's too, it's too challenging because I have ADHD. Now, I'm not saying, you know, it takes a while to discover what you really want to do in life. But once you do find it, once you do find something that you want to do in life, it could be really, really something powerful. But it'd be something to help you drive you to want to be that person, that person that you can be. And if we keep on using excuses that mm, I can't do it, it's going to be more damaging versus trying to just tell people, you know, just try to understand I have ADHD. I have ADHD and that's why I can't do it. Well, that doesn't serve us anything. It doesn't serve us at all by having that mindset. Because what does that benefit to us? If everybody just said, oh, it's okay, you have ADHD. You don't need to be successful. You don't need to go to college. You don't need to, you know, have a great job. You don't need that stuff. If we had people telling us all the time and they're like, we understand, you have ADHD. It's okay. We wouldn't progress. Now, I'm not here to tell you that ADHD, it's easy to have ADHD. It certainly doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that, yeah, I have ADHD. I have ADHD. I know it's a challenge. But you got to understand that you have to have that mindset that it still is doable. Try to find people that do have ADHD. That's what I did growing up. I would look at biographies. I would search online for other people who have ADHD and dyslexia and how they were able to become successful in it. Now, I always found that they had a challenge, but they worked around it. I mean, that's what I had to do by going through college, going through medical school. I was the least likely person to be able to get through it. In fact, I had plenty of teachers that told me it would be impossible for me to get through college and medical school. Teachers would always tell me to just drop out. <laughs> Did that stop me? No. You know, you have to have that willpower to understand if there's something you really desire. I'm not saying you have to go through college. But if there's something that you're really passionate about, stop using excuses. Excuses just stop us from progressing. You have to start finding ways and be creative to be able to get to where you need to. You need to change that mindset. Stop using the excuse of ADHD. I understand it's challenging, but you need to stop using it as an excuse. The second biggest thing of why using ADHD as an excuse can be damaging is has to do with our health. So anytime we are dealing with health issues, and I see this with my patients, uh, other people that have ADHD, that say uh, if they ever have, for example, a moment 
of where they might be super hyperactive or impulsive or brain fog and forget things all the time and it becomes worse and worse like oh it's okay it's my ADHD I just need to go see my doctor to get you know a different dosage or a different medication and that's it the problem with this is just like anybody else uh, people can have other health concerns other health issues and just because we have ADHD doesn't stop us from not having those other health conditions and when you have that mindset of, oh, it's just my ADHD, well, there could be other health conditions that could be contributing to what you're experiencing. And there, trust me, there is a lot of different symptoms that are presented the same as ADHD. And if you are starting to have, find that it's getting worse, well, there's a high, high chance it could be something else happening in your body. And you need to find a doctor that is willing to work with you to look at not looking at your ADHD and especially for yourself, not using ADHD as an excuse of why you're having these other health concerns and these problems. That is why it's so important to not use that excuse and try to explore other reasons of why it could be a problem of your own health. So I really encourage you to really seek out other alternatives as well as other things that could be contributing to your health overall, your overall health. The third and final thing I'm going to talk about today is that using the excuse as an AD, having ADHD is it can really ruin relationships. And I understand it's, it's really difficult for people with, with ADHD, even myself, to have a good relationship, um, whether it's for dating with someone or a friend or even a family member. Uh, it can ruin relationships because we tend to, again, some people uh, will tend to say, well, it's because of my ADHD. You know, I wasn't remember to do this or this or this or this because of my ADHD. If you keep on saying that, um, you know, it is important for, yes, the person on the other side to understand that it's difficult, but it shouldn't stop us from keep on trying to do better. Okay. I see this too much where we use the excuse, oh, it's because I have ADHD. That's why I can't do these chores or I can't remember to do this. Yeah, especially if you're married or in a relationship and, oh, I forgot, you know, the time that I was supposed to pick you up for our date, whatever it is, you know, th there's a hundreds and we can go all day of talking about the problems of ADHD and relationships. But what I needed to let you know is that you need to stop using it as an excuse and just try to say, you know, I'll try better and try to work at it and talk with your partner, your spouse, whoever, your family member, your friend, if you're having that struggle in your relationship with them to talk about, you know, the struggles you're having and talk about some alternatives, be able to be better at it versus just saying an excuse and not doing anything about it. You know, this is really important when it comes to relationships with ADHD and it can really be damaging and ruin a lot of relationships. If you are trying to keep on using the excuse of you just have ADHD and therefore you can't do anything about it. Okay. So I hope, you know, this helped you kind of see a different perspective as far as not using HD as an excuse. It's difficult having HD, I get it, but we need to stop using it as an excuse. It's something that we need to start changing our mindset about and doing better. We have to work harder at it than most people, but we could still do it. There's plenty enough successful people out there that are you know, successful, have successful relationships, and are successful with having HD and don't use it as an excuse. So please don't be that person. If you are, please change your mindset on this. And if you are looking for further guidance, I do have a free downloadable guide that basically goes over the labs, nutrients, and foods that you should be implementing if you have ADHD, one for adults and also one for parents who have kids with ADHD. Till next time, this is Dr. Grant signing out and I will see you in the next video. Remember, you have an optimal mind. Thanks, bye.